Good morning, guys. Hope you're doing well. It's really early today, so obviously uh, it's subject to change because of London Open, and then it'll be subject to change at the Powell speech. We've also got central bank speakers as well uh, from the Bank of Japan and ECB, and obviously we've got the Fed later from Powell. Uh, sideways with gold, uh, so there isn't anything to be said there, and this is probably going to probably pump in because of the dollar, and we can see that the dollar is falling currently. Uh, just look at dollar CAD, dollar Swiss, dollar yen. It's looking fairly ugly this hour uh, from five to six. And I was also early because I had to have an early night because my eyes were really pained and uh, I had to take uh, to have an early night. I, I had uh, went to bed at eight o'clock last night. So uh, uh, S and P has got uh, you know important level there, three nine twelve fifteen area. We spiked above. Of course, they went long. <laughs> and uh, we created like a, a gravestone doji on the daily, which is actually quite bearish. So keep an eye on that level. And I think what will ha probably happen is that we're going to be in this horrible chop. Uh, if this pumps, it will mean that our trade of the day is going to be poor because uh, the Aussie Swiss is subject to risk on flows. The Swiss being a safe haven and the Australian dollar being a risky asset. So if we do pump on this, which is possible then our trade of the day is going to be poor and they are going long. So this is probably phony. This is a phony fake candle. And uh, if they short it, yeah, fine, then we can come up. But if they're buying, they shouldn't really be getting paid. Uh, so don't expect a breach of 3895. If they do, then they'll get paid. Uh, and they went long. So likewise, 33578, we've got like a uh, it was a punishment zone there, so we shouldn't really go above that. Uh, DAX, they're going long, uh, but we haven't made a sell yet. We're, we're probably going to get a crossover, but do know every time yeah, they, they sell it every time. So here's one here, for example, and then they, uh, well, here, 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 and then they did it here, and then they did it here. <laughs> so every time it does fall, it's uh, aggressively sold and because they are so stubborn on their shorts it will go up to punish them so it's possible what happen is that uh, we make a risky sell and as soon as it falls they'll be really keen to short it and you can see how quite strong the ca uh, the channel is as well and you could maybe argue we're making like a wedge formation if you see what i mean so we've got a wide base quite a thin uh, top if you see what I mean. So um, maybe technically it might be a, a bearish scenario, but not if they continue to short it. We are getting a little bit extreme as well. Uh, gold sideways, uh, euro, uh, well, we made the buy there, and uh, they've held on since. So that's that. Dollar yen. And it's made a buy, so they're selling it, and price is falling. So that would be unusual. So that would be a risky buy on the dollar yen. Okay, um, and so really just to summarize, uh, we've got lots of uh, central bank speech and our risk calc was on, but it was really on because of the fact that the UK 100 and the France 40 really shifted. We could probably put more emphasis on the US indices because they're the drivers for risk appetite in, in the world. So um, we'll have to wait and see what happens here, but you understand what happened there is that we did have a very strong rally, and of course they bought it, didn't they? <laughs> and by buying it, it caused price to fall. And that's that. So um, I'm going to upload this one to YouTube, because I think this might be quite useful. And I'm going to do a Patreon video now. And then I'm just going to take it easy, I think, because, um, you know, my eyes were hurting last night, so I need to take it a bit easy. Have a good day. I'll speak to you guys soon.